With the average fishing boat on the water being around 20 years old, you may be fishing from a floating time bomb and not even know it. We spoke to George Yorsak of Babylon Boatworks, who told us what signs to look for that may indicate that your fuel system needs some attention. One of those common things that happens is you'll start to get an odor from the bilge uh, or somewhere else on the boat of gas. Uh, that should be your first clue. Uh, another common sign is when the motor's not running good, you've changed the plugs, you've had it tuned up, a professional's looked at it, and you're still having issues. A lot of water in the gas. Uh, this is another thing that, you know, it kind of gives you a clue. Hey, you know, how old is this? Uh, how old is the gas tank in this boat? You know, maybe this is something I need to be looking at. One of the clues could be um, finding pieces of foam in the bilge area. What will happen is the gas will break the foam down and pieces of it will be saturated and separate from the other parts of the foam and you'll find it uh, in the back and you know this is this is definitely a clue. Uh, it's a pretty large task to change the tank. It's something that you need to look at and you know see if it's within your wheelhouse for doing this repair yourself. It can be done um, you know it also might be a good idea to let a professional look at it and kind of give you an idea of what it's going to take to do it. You don't want to get involved in something that you're not going to be able to finish. You know, a lot of projects wind up in the scrapyard because of that. It's a pretty arduous job removing a gas tank. It's different on almost every boat. Some gas tanks are foamed in, some gas tanks are just bolted in. It really depends on the boat. Some gas tanks are fiberglass below the deck, which means you have to cut the whole floor up. Some of the old boats have gas tank tubs, Aqua Sports, Mako's, Seacrafts. A lot of times you can get to the uh, gas tank just by removing screws, which will give you a good visual inspection. If you are getting the odor of gas on the boat, um, a lot of times it's stronger when you fill the boat up uh, at the gas dock and then it dissipates. One of the clues you may have is it could be you have a broken fill line. You could have a loose fill line. The clamp could have broke. Uh, you could have a bad vent where it comes down to the gas tank if you have an inspection cover you may have a uh, sending unit rubber that is dried up and gas is just seeping by and you only see this when you fill the boat up or when it sloshes around so there are other things it, it might not be the tank but there are other things within the fuel system that you need to check and and you know take care of the introduction of ethanol to gasoline has presented other problems. Well, with ethanol, especially in older boats that have a lot of resin and uh, varnish built up, it acts kind of like a cleaner. Some of the resins can break down, get into your engine, cause catastrophic failures. So we recommend anyone, especially an older boat, 15, 20 years old, the tank should be replaced. Most of the time we cut it out, put a metal or aluminum tank in place, and it'll solve your problems. Many times tanks were designed for specific boats. So you'll have to bring your old tank to a marine fabricator who can duplicate the old tank. A great source for marine fabricators is your Fisherman magazine. When you have an older boat that you really have to think about, you know, not only, hey, do I smell gas, am I seeing particles in my bilge, but my boat's 20 to 30 years old. They do have a duty cycle and they do take some pounding and they are in the weather. So at that point in time, you really need to start thinking, is it safe? I better start looking at it. Um, you know, it's a major part of the boat that you really cannot overlook. From Babylon Boatworks, this is Tim C. Smith for The Fisherman.